en question. The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. On. The court is now back in session. Reprise de débat. The floor is now given to Yang Sari's defense. La chambre donne the maintenant la parole à la défense de Yang Sari. The witness, Rocham Ton, you may proceed. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honors, and good afternoon to everyone in and around the courtroom, and good afternoon, witness. Unless there are any objections, I will refer to you as Chim. Uh, sir, uh, first, I want to make sure that uh, we clear up a couple of matters. One, uh, you gave two statements to the office of the co-investigative judges, one on 5 December 2007 and the second one on 21 September 2008. Is that right? I am not sure so regarding uh, the interview in 2005. I am certain of the one I did in 2007. Uh, maybe there's a mistranslation. One is 2007, and the second one is 2008. Yes, I recall the two statements oui, I made uh, respectively in 2007 and 2008. And at the conclusion Question. of giving those statements, you were read out a summary, Et après, on vous a lu and uh, you de signed them, or you put your thumb to it, thumbprint to it. Is that correct? Yes, I provided uh, my sampling on oui. the statement which is uh, true and correct. And of course, before answering the questions that were being posed to you, question. you took Avant a note. De répondre aux questions qui vous ont été posées, vous avez prêté serment. Bye. Yes, I serment. did. Réponse. Now, previously, you were shown a third document. Question. A third statement uh, dated December 19, 2010, by DC CAM, and I'm referring to Your Honor's E190.1.407. And that's what I want to briefly talk about. Do you recall giving that interview, sir? Participer à un tel entretien. Response. Regarding the interview with the document station center of Cambodia, I don't seem to recall that or the statement itself. If I knew that was the record they si produced, then I would not uh, uh, have made them. I did not know how they uh, came up with this interview. Je pas I, chose que dit. Je ne sais pas I did not ils hear ont any introduction uh, of uh, searching for the truth at all when uh, they came to see me. me. Okay. Uh, me if voir, on a dit on perhaps if we could provide you with a truth. copy of that document, I, or you may still have une it question. in front of you, si une copie du document, moins que vous because I yeux. want to first uh, clarify a couple of points. Are you suggesting, sir, that the interview never took place? Uh, 
réponse. Yes. So, if I understand you correctly, and Question, si uh, bien compris, you're telling the trial chamber that you were never interviewed by a long Danny back in December 19, 2010. An interview that took place in Dong Village, Malai Commune, Malai District, Montemichay Province. That is your testimony under oath. C'est ce que vous nous dites sous serment aujourd'hui. I made two interviews and I took an order twice, and besides that, no, I did not take any order. That wasn't my question. Did you give an interview to Long Denny from the Documentation Center of Cambodia. It's a yes, it's a no, it's I don't remember. Which of the three? As I just said, regarding searching for the truth organization, I did not take any interview with, uh, with them or to my basic recollection, I cannot recall it. All right. Let me point out to, if we can look at one page, and this would be Khmer Air number 00660835. English, 00660629, and French, 00754259. You could look at that document, that page, on this particular document. Once you find it, I'll pose a question. You were asked during this interview who appointed you or who ordered you to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. There's a question by Danny. Did Inksri ask you to go with him or did you make a request yourself? Answer, Chiam. Ou avez-vous demandé vous-même Non. Réponse. Chim. We had no authority to make any request. Je n'avais pas le droit de demander quoi que ce soit. I was simply assigned by Paul Pot to go with Ing Sri. C'est Paul Pot qui m'a My work was to provide hospitality to the guests and to look after the house building of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Somehow, it was hard work. Les étrangères et c'était du travail difficile. Did you find that passage, sir? Response. What I read from here is that I, I, I still do not uh, know the person by the name Danny. I, I don't know how this thing could come up like that. All right. I'm going to pose some simple questions and I would appreciate some simple answers. Et je vous serai gré de donner des réponses. Assuming that this document is an authentic document, the DCK did not fabricate an interview with you, as you are suggesting here today, on December 19, 2010. So let's make that assumption. Do you see on page, on this particular page that I've shown you, 
where you say that Pol Pot assigned you to go with to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Il est dit, Do you see that, sir? Uh, vous dites que Pol Pot vous a dit d'aller rejoindre Yang Sari au ministère des Affaires étrangères. Est-ce que vous voyez ce passage? Response. Yes, I do. I, oui. I saw this uh, statement. Je vois ce passage. Now, is it your testimony here today Question. under oath Aujourd'hui, that you never made this statement to the person who was interviewing you? That is, that it was Paul Pot that assigned Comme you quoi, to Paul the qui vous a Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Affecté au ministère des Affaires étrangères. Vous déclarez que vous n'avez jamais affirmer cela lors d'une interview. N'est-ce pas Réponse. I still I'm ambivalent as to why the search for the truth people came to me and when and how this thing was set up. I remember that I gave interviews to voir. the co-investigating judges, avoir été entendu par les but not d'instruction. to this. Mais All right, just so we're clear, in the trial chamber is is vividly clear on this point. Pour que les choses soient bien when the claires, prosecution was asking you questions about monde, events that happened 37 years ago, you were vous able to tell us sur des with specificity ont eu lieu when a meeting took place, ans, vous vous êtes who attended. De la but you de cannot tell us here today, under oath, of an interview that you gave less than two years ago. Il y a moins de deux ans. Is that what you wish the trial chamber to believe, sir? Vous voulez, monsieur, que la Chambre de première instance le croit. Réponse. Réponse. I may say time and again that I do not recollect such interview with répète, Danny. Je ne me souviens pas and indeed, I just Danny uh, tell the court the truth. What J'ai I dit la vérité saw, à la cour. but I now, in my feeling, I feel that uh, I never met uh, people from the Search for the Truth magazine, Mais and I did not, je not pas know how this document could be made. Gens de searching for the truth, et je me demande comment un tel document a pu être établi. And I if this document uh, were of uh, were my interview. I perhaps uh, cannot contest, and uh, then uh, it can be used as a court document. Si l'on me dit qu'il s'agit là d'un compte rendu de mon interview, je ne peux well, pas le contester. Et alors, pour l'utiliser, question. La raison, we're using it as a court document because it has been admitted, question. sir. La raison and pour so laquelle on utilise ce document, c'est parce qu'il a été admis. That it was Paul Pot that assigned you to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Est-ce que you say that, sir? vous avez affirmé is that what que c'était happened? Pol Pot qui Pol vous avait Pot dit d'aller au there? ministère des Affaires étrangères Et est-ce que c'est ce qui s'est produit Est-ce que c'est Pol Pot qui vous y a envoyé Response. Response. Since uh, it is the court document and that's my statement, I will stand by the statement. Du tribunal et que l'on dit que ce sont mes propos, je les maintiens. The president, uh, witness, I think uh, for the sake of clarity and perhaps there was a misunderstanding. 
Il faut que les choses soient bien claires. Il y a peut-être eu un malentendu. Uh, footnotes, or, or the bottom vous avez the page, vu ce document en bas de page. Uh, the vous the avez transcript, uh, pu voir qu'il s'agissait d'une transcription d'enregistrement sonore. Ceux dont vous avez fait d'audition ont été établis deux fois quand vous avez été entendu par les juges d'instruction. En 2007 et 2008, vous avez apposé votre empreinte digitale à chaque page, mais ce n'est pas le cas de ce document-ci. Uh, recording of uh, this document from DC Cam. My question is uh, to you to seek a clarification whether you met anyone and gave such interview to a person in 2010. Quelqu'un en 2010 in October 2010. Because you mentioned about the conversation with an individual when you mentioned about the mock. Lorsque vous avez évoqué funeral. les funérailles de Tavmok, vous avez fait allusion à une discussion discussion as the avec quelqu'un. Ce document-ci est d'une forme différente the ECCC. des so, autres documents um, qui sont ceux de la CETC. Vous vous souvenez-vous d'avoir donné des autres interviews à des individus concernant le régime de Khmer Rouge Et c'est la question numéro 1. Exception faite, des PV d'audition. What being said Deuxième or written in that document, si vous ne vous and you remember pas, uh, or be able to respond to questions by counsel, you may respond to a counsel accordingly. Et si the document is here only to assist you, défense, and dire, it has already been admitted and aider. placed uh, on Il the case file. Do you understand um, ce que vous comprenez, Mr. Rochampton? Monsieur Rochampton. Response. Réponse. Mr. President, yes, indeed, I do. Oui, je comprends. Le président, uh, co prosecutor you may now proceed. Uh, yes, just briefly, Mr. President, uh, there Monsieur may be a discrepancy in the dates between the English and the Khmer, too. Uh, I'm told that the date and the Khmer version may be October. Uh, the date indicated in the English version is December, so uh, perhaps that's something as well that should be uh, uh, clarified with the uh, faudrait with donc peut-être apporter un éclaircissement. Uh, that's my understanding. I'll just pass the note saying that it was 19 October. Effectivement, on vient de me donner une note comme quoi c'était le 19 octobre. The date of the interview would have been 19 October 2010. Does that help you? Does that help refresh your recollection? 2010. Est-ce que ça vous aide à vous souvenir? Response, yes, it helps uh, refresh my recollection. Oui, cela à me souvenir. And just a couple of matters just to make sure that La we have the right Encore uh, here. Précisions pour être um, sûr que nous parlons du bon are you Chim? familiar with this village? Don village, Malay village? commune, Malay district, Bantaminche province. Province de Bantaminche, village de Down, commune de Malay, district de Malay. Bye. Response, yes. Oui. And if we look on the very first page, which is Khmer uh, 00660820, the very first page of this interview, uh, French 00754244, in English 00660621, it says that um, you acknowledge being the deputy provincial governor from le gouverneur 1997 until 2005. De 1997 à 2005. Uh, Est-ce que vous occupiez ces fonctions dans cette région Réponse, yes. oui. 
All right, now that we clarified that, Question. is it not a fact that you said that Pol Pot assigned you to the Ministry of Foreign que Affairs? Pot vous avez affecté au ministère des Affaires étrangères. Response. Réponse. I agree with the, the statement that I once made. Je maintiens ce que j'avais okay. affirmé. Okay. Does that mean Question. that you agree that it was Paul Pot that vous assigned you to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Vous a affecté au ministère des Affaires étrangères. Réponse. Response. Yes. Oui. Thank you. Question. Now, uh, you do know a So Hong. Vous connaissez you not? un certain So Hong, n'est-ce pas? Response: Yes, I do. Réponse: Oui, je connais ce So Hong. As I understand it, you have been following these proceedings, Question. have you not? Je crois savoir que vous suivez ce procès, n'est-ce pas? Response. Um, no. You were not here uh, in the gallery Réponse, when non. opening statements were given by the prosecution. Question. Vous n'étiez pas dans la galerie lorsque l'accusation a prononcé ses déclarations liminaires. And this would have been, I believe, Monday. Uh, November 21, 2011. Were you not in the gallery, sir? Response. In November 2011, I was in the Réponse. public gallery en novembre 2011, the proceedings. I did not join directly in this courtroom. Audiences. Je n'étais pas I dans le prétoire. Was observing the proceedings for one day before I left. Les audiences. And have you resté une journée by any chance or had a chance to speak with Question. So Hong concerning his public testimony? Question. de vous entretenir avec So Hong concernant la déposition qu'il avait faite en public. Response. Yes. Réponse. Yes. Oui. When you say yes, question. You mean yes. Dites, oui. You did speak Ça veut dire to quoi? So Hong Ça veut dire oui. about So Hong's testimony. Vous avez parlé avec so Hong here in court. Ici, that is dans the le questions prétoire. that were posed to him and the answers Autrement that dit, he provided. Vous avez écouté les questions qu'on lui a posées et les réponses qu'il a faites. Response. No, I have not. Réponse. Uh, non. La défense. Avez-vous terminé votre réponse? Have you completed your answer, sir? Response. I, I have already completed. Okay, thank you. Oui. Thank you very much. Question. Now, uh, would it surprise you uh, to, if I were to tell you that when Song Hong si je vous dis was here testifying, Song Hong était ici en train de déposer, he had indicated that when you were working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, il a dit que when it came to the sec to security matters, au ministère des Affaires étrangères, you were quand under en de the supervision sous la supervision of Pong. De Pong. Si je vous dis ça, est-ce que cela vous surprend Response. In reality, 
I was réponse. at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs en fait, under au the supervision des of Om sous la supervision Yang Sari and Dom Yang Sari So Hong, not under the Pong so Hong, supervision. Et non pas sous la supervision de Pong. All right. Well, Question. let me just read Très bien. what he says Je vais after a lengthy lire. passage. Ce qu'il a affirmé some questions, and this après un long passage où l'on trouve Premier des questions, c'est à la page 0080-4560 en anglais 0080-6504 et en français 0080-6388. Et 8 et il s'agit de la déposition datée du 30 avril 2012, c'est la page 17 en anglais, c'est vers la ligne numéro 18 en anglais. La question commence un peu plus haut, mais j'en viens à question is, à savoir. While Comrade Chiam was at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, although, and although he was your subordinate, 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 c'était la déposition faite par Zohan like sous serment. Avez-vous des commentaires à faire là-dessus Est-ce qu'il is se trompe ou est-ce qu'il ment Réponse. Peut-être qu'il s'est trompé. Comme je l'ai déjà dit, je n'ai jamais été sous sa supervision. Question. Cependant, vous étiez sous la supervision de So Hong, n'est-ce pas C'était votre supérieur direct. Réponse. Response. Yes, my immediate superior was so hung. Mon supérieur direct était so hung. Now we're going to get to that perhaps tomorrow in great detail. Nous y viendrons de façon plus détaillée demain. But for now, let me ask you this question. Voici ma question. In the statements that you have provided before, dans vos déclarations antérieures, in not a single Statement have you indicated that you ever worked for the security apparatus within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Is that a correct statement? Est-ce que c'est exact? Response. No, it isn't. No. I did not work. In security section. Je n'ai jamais travaillé dans la section de la sécurité. If So Hong were to say that in fact you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that you did, and if others were to say from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Are being are providing us with false testimony. Which of the two? Qui nous livrait un faux témoignage? Laquelle des deux options est la bonne? The president, witness, could you please hold on? Témoin, veuillez attendre. Wait until we hear from the international co-prosecutor. International co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Le coup procureur uh, yes, Mr. President, we, we object to the, the form of this question asking this witness to speculate on whether other people were mistaken uh, or lying or that. It's an entirely inappropriate question. The counsel is perfectly entitled to ask the witness whether there was a security section or not to ask him a factual matter, but he should not be asking or putting questions to the witness that ask him to comment on whether other witnesses were mistaken. We object to the form of this question asking this witness to speculate on whether other people were mistaken or lying or that. It's an entirely inappropriate question. 
témoins ont dit la vérité ou non. Monsieur le Président, je voudrais répliquer brièvement. Those other people are either mistaken or lying. That's one possibility. Ou mentent, or the other possibility is this gentleman is lying when he says he was not part of security. That's the universe of choices. Les, le choix so, se limite that's à cela. trying to get this gentleman. I'm trying to pin him down under oath. De coincer ce témoin pour qu'il s'exprime sous serment. The president. The objection and the reason behind this argument are appropriate. The objection is therefore sustained. Witness is Elle now instructed not to respond to Le the question pas just now put by à la counsel for Mr. Ying Sari. And uh, secondly, counsel is advised Deuxièmement, to be mindful with your wordings when putting questions to the witness. Please try to refrain from using some Il terms that are intimidating, for example, by way of pinning down Par exemple, le terme to uh, suggest that he's making false testimony or lying. These wordings are en train de faire really un faux uh, belittling Ce uh, the sont là dignity of the witness. Des mots qui sont insultants envers uh, thank le you, Mr. President. Et sa dignité. La défense. So just that we're Merci. clear, under oath, Pour right now, bien au clair, you're saying sous serment, that under dites no circumstances while you were working quand vous étiez with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, au des Affaires you were either in charge of or part of the security apparatus. De la sécurité that is your testimony under oath. Ce que vous dites sous serment. -ce pas? Response. With regard to security section, I already stated that I did not engage in security matters. I was engaged in administration, whether other people said so or implicated me in their testimonies. Uh, I have nothing to say, but I was say, si telling all the truth. Ont dit le contraire, que all dire, right. Well, well let me ask you this then. Since you were Question at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and you were, uh, in administration, can you please tell us who was in charge of security matters qui était at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Au des Affaires étrangères, des questions de sécurité. Response. I stated uh, with regard to security matters, uh, it was Om Yeng Sari who was overly in charge, who qui avait la uh, supposed to know de de this, lui qui and était censé I was not uh, assigned any security related uh, Task, Je n'avais aucune tâche en rapport remember avec la sécurité. Having been assigned such Je ne me souviens pas m'être vu confier ce type de tâche. En effet, je m'occupais seulement de questions d'administration. So, so Hong, so Hong ne vous a jamais supervisé en matière de sécurité. Oath. Il ne vous a jamais confié des tâches relatives à la sécurité. C'est ce que vous affirmez sous serment Response: No, he has not uh, assigned uh, me non. on any security task. Il ne task. pas de and that is never, défense. never ever Bien. assigned you Cela to any dire security jamais, task. Il ne vous a jamais confié de tâches en rapport avec la sécurité. Very, very clear que les choses soient that that bien claires. Telle est donc votre position. Jamais. Response. 
No, never. All right. We'll get back to that at some point. Effectivement, jamais. Um, but let me, défense, nous y reviendrons. Let me ask you, uh, now that you've acknowledged being présent, appointed vous avez to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs by Paul Pott, uh, it would appear from your statement, your first statement, that you also had a special relationship vous aviez aussi une relation with Paul Pott when it came to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Would that be correct? Du ministère des Affaires étrangères. Est-ce exact? Response. Réponse. I already stated that I only met him when I was Comme called je déjà dit, to meet him. Je le rencontrais uniquement quand j'y étais convoqué. In, on a regular basis, I would uh, meet uh, with Om Yang Sari and Sao Hong. De façon routinière, c'était Yang Sari et Sao Hong que je rencontrais. Well, let's look at what you said, and we'll discuss this a little bit. Voyons ce que vous avez dit. I'm referring to your first statement, and this is E3/24. Je vous renvoie au document E3/24. Premier pays de l'Union. Entre 002040 70 à 71. English. En anglais. 002235383. And French. Et en français. 00 50-39-22-24. And I'm, re I'm looking at an English version at the lower part en anglais, of page 6. When Paul Pot wanted to know the situation Paul at B1, la situation he B1, called me and asked me. Il et me he des trusted questions. me. Il me faisait confiance. Whatever he instructed I could do, especially work related to the reception. S'il me donnait des instructions, je pouvais les accomplir. Or visitors, surtout en ce qui concernait l'accueil des visiteurs et la mise en place du bâtiment. He praised me for making good arrangements. Il me félicitait pour les bonnes dispositions que je prenais. Now, let me ask you this: How was it that Paul Pot called you? Did he summon you by messenger? De quelle façon est-ce que Paul Pot vous appelait? Did he send you a letter? Convoque-t-il par le biais d'un messager? Or did he call you on the landline? Est-ce qu'il vous envoyait une lettre ou bien est-ce qu'il vous appelait par téléphone Réponse. À chaque fois qu'il voulait me voir, il n'envoyait pas de lettre. In fact, when I came to see Om Yangsari, he said the mess was not that far. So then he asked the people working nearby him to come to him. So he demanded to meet him. So when I asked the people working nearby him to come to him, he asked the people working nearby him to come to him. So when I asked the people working nearby him to come to him, he asked the people working nearby him to come to him. So when I asked the people working nearby him to come to him, he asked the people working nearby him to come to him. So when I asked the people working nearby him to come to him, he asked the people Apparemment, ceci n'a rien à you voir said, avec Yang Sari. When Paul Pot Vous dites, to know the quand Paul Pot voulait B1, connaître la situation à B1, he called me il m'appelait et il me posait des questions. So my question is, Ma question est donc la suivante. Based on your words, sur la base de ce que vous avez dit, Paul Pot de quelle manière est-ce que Paul Pot vous appelait pour savoir ce qui se produisait à B1 Mr. President, we object. This question was just asked and answered by the witness. Mr. Carnivus may not like the answer, but the witness indicated how it was that he would come into contact with Pol Pot in these situations. So I think the question is improper. If I may respond, Your Honor. There is nothing in the statement here, either in this version or the one that was transcribed, that mentions anything about Pol Pot being with Ingsuri 
and them being together. I'm using exact, the exact words of this witness, and I'm asking the witness to give me a concrete answer. How was it that Pol Pot called them? Did he use a, a, a landline? Did he send a messenger? Because yesterday, the gentleman under oath Hier, said that it was Yang Sari that appointed him. Today, under oath, he acknowledged that it was Pol Pot. Pol Pot and this is why Et I'm voilà asking this question. question. He acknowledged to having a special relationship. relationship. So I'm entitled to know how was it that Pol Pot, Pol Pot called him. Saturday, my July top day. The President, Mr. Witness, you do not need to respond to that question. question. You already answered. Vous avez déjà so there is no need to answer a repetitive question. So we might have a a through many responses, which might lead to contradiction and a waste of time. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Although contradictions demonstrate the, uh, the weight to be given to a witness's uh, testimony, that's the whole purpose of, of examination. When you did meet with Paul Pot, can you please tell us how long did these meetings last? It did not last that long, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And did you meet him in his office? Or at some other location. L'interprète n'a pas étendu le début de la question à Maître Carnavas, qui n'a pas marqué une pause entre la réponse du témoin et sa question. I'm told that we weren't translated in French. I'm told we weren't translated in French. So I'll slow down. Where did you meet him? In his office or somewhere else? Dans son bureau ou ailleurs? I mainly met him in the evening after dinner. Usually I met him at the dining hall. It was a common dining hall. And this is where you would meet Paul Pot at, at the dining hall. Yes, that is correct. And could you please tell us where that dining hall was located and how you would get there? The common dining hall at the cavern, it was under the long house. Usually when I left the ministry, I would uh, ride my motorbike to meet Om Yengsari. And then if uh, Om Pol Pot would like to meet me, or to meet the uh, Om Yang Sari, then Pol Pot would send a messenger to call him to meet with him. And how often did you meet with Pol Pot? It was not that often. It was... Uh, on an occasional basis. All right, let me uh, switch Question. to another topic uh, since we don't have that much time this evening. Uh, you indicated that you did not know where S21 was. Correct? Is that exact. your testimony? But 
response. Yes, that is correct. I did not know where S21 was. And in fact, uh, you were asked yesterday about Doig's comment and that you had indicated that you never knew of S21. Whatever he wants to say, that's so his affairs. That's what we were uh, que vous ne quoted pas of saying, and this is, can be found on your second disait, statement, E3 slash 63, on camera version 0028845, English 00231410, and French 00376055656. Now, are we to understand that you never ever met with Deutsch? Response, that is correct. I did not meet him at all at the time. All right, so when he says, so, so I take it you are uh, Asserting Je vous affirmer, that Doig is not Deutsch being accurate or truthful pas toute la vérité, when he claims that he saw you. Lui, vous a vu. The President, the witness, please wait until the Chamber hears the objection by the prosecution, the, the international co prosecutor. Que you may proceed. Yeah, uh, Mr. President, our objection is I believe that uh, misstates Doig's uh, testimony. Uh, I do not, do not believe he said he saw um, the witness, um, but if counsel wishes to refer him to specific uh, part of Doig's testimony, uh, I think that would be appropriate. But my recollection of Doig's testimony is somewhat different than that. I'll rephrase, uh, Mr. President. Laissez-moi reformuler la question. If we look at E3 slash 60, at Khmer 00195598, English 00195606, and French 00195616, and this is from a written record of an interview of Doig. This is the 3rd of June, 2008. And here it says, as for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, there was a messenger who brought the prisoners to S21 named Chim who was roughly my age. So this is the part that you, you dispute. You're claiming that Deutsch is either mistaken or providing false testimony. Is that your position, sir? I already stated that I never met Deutsch déjà dit que in je person. Deutsch en personne. Maybe Om Yensari knew Deutsch well, que and maybe Om Yensari introduced Om me to Deutsch. Yesterday, yesterday I already stated Deutsch. that I took dit some hier. people through the 870 group, and I did not know where that 870 group would take them through further. All right, but here, Doik is saying, sir, that you, Chim, a messenger for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, brought the prisoners to S21, not to 870, not to some house, not to some hotel, hotel, but to S21. This is S21. what Deutsch is saying. Ce que dit. 
So is Doik providing false information Doik donné de faux renseignements to the investigative judges juge when he's saying this? The president uh, witness wait Monsieur until the chamber hears the objection by the, the prosecution. The prosecution will proceed. Again, I have, we have no objection to counsel asking the witness whether, whether that is correct or incorrect, but I think it's inappropriate for him uh, to comment on uh, the state of mind of Doik in terms of whether he was lying, uh, whether he was mistaken, or the nature of the information. He should simply ask the witness whether that is correct or incorrect, and not ask him to comment on Doik's uh, testimony. Well, you may recall, Your Honor, that Doik, first of all, was under oath when he gave the statement. Second of all, when he was confronted here in court, he stood by under oath to the statements that he made. So either Doik was mistaken or he was providing false testimony under oath. Or the gentleman there perhaps is not being truthful today. These are the possibilities. And I'm entitled to press the gentleman. J'ai le droit de poser des questions à ce sujet. Thank you, Madam Clerk. The witness, please wait. Le président, Monsieur le témoin, veuillez attendre. The objection and the ground for its objection raised by the prosecution is substantiated and sustained. De cette objection sont fondées et l'objection est retenue. The question which would elicit the Assumption of subjective conclusion is inappropriate uh, in this proceeding. The witness, you do not need to respond to the last question put to you by the counsel. We have a confession, IS 5.10, Khmer 00022816, English 00662311. We don't have the French version. This is, was, this is on Annex 10 of the S21 confession of the prosecution's document, uh, Rule 83D document list. Sur la liste de documents proposés conformément à la règle 83D par les Donc, dans ces aveux, on page two, à la page 2, that's Khmer 00022285. The President, Council, please wait until we hear the objection by the prosecution. The prosecution, please proceed. It, it sounds to me, uh, Mr. President, as if uh, Mr. Carnivus is uh, about to 
attempt to introduce the content of a confession, uh, the defense has spent a lot of time objecting uh, to the use of S21 confessions. Uh, and uh, so I'm rather surprised uh, that Mr. Carnivus is now attempting to introduce the content of the confession. Um, so before he proceeds, I suggest that he clarify whether that is what he's trying to do and what the legal basis would be. Et j'aimerais, avant qu'il le fasse, qu'il précise quels seraient ses arguments juridiques en faveur d'une telle pratique. Well, it seems that the prosecution wants to have it both ways. L'accusation veut le beurre d'argent du beurre. When it suits them, they use confessions. When it suits us, especially to contradict a witness, we cannot. The information that I'm about to put into evidence is not about somebody being a CIA agent or KGB or someone being tortured. It has to do with this witness, this, uh, this uh, confession, saying that that person brought them to S21. That's what this is all about. And it completely contradicts what the gentleman indicates and supports what Deutsch is saying. And I think this is proper. And we should have a fast and uh, uh, hard rule, either nothing from confessions, Soit aucun aveu, and at one point, may I remind the trial aveu, chamber that even Judge Laverne corrected us and showed us as Laverne, to the date when, uh, when Pong ended up at S21. So confessions have been used. De la date quand Pong so either we don't use them at all, and that goes to all parties et soit and the bench, servir, et vos or et les juges, we have some sort of a rule that makes sense and is fair to both sides. So I'm entitled to put, to put this to the witness to get an answer. Did he take this person to S21 as the confession states? A-t-il emmené la personne en question à S21 comme il est indiqué dans les aveux de la personne en question? The president, the prosecution, do my reply. Well, uh, Mr. Carnivus's characterization of the of the use of confessions that we have made is entirely uh, inaccurate. Uh, we have used confessions for annotations that were not by uh, the detainee. Uh, we have used uh, confessions under the uh, exception allowed by the uh, convention, which is to show uh, that a person was, at, uh, was in fact uh, at S21 on a certain date. Um, but we have not attempted to use the content of the confessions, that is, the statements made by the uh, person being interrogated. And so I think that this is entirely inappropriate. His, his argument that it's either all or nothing ignores uh, the legitimate uses uh, of confessions. So I would disagree with his position. And I think his attempt to read, uh, read that uh, before the chamber um, uh, in his uh, statement here is, is, uh, is entirely uh, outside uh, the uh, rules of this court. The confession is rather clear that on 12 27 78, the person providing this confession is noting how that person got to S21. And that's why we believe it's pertinent and it contradicts this gentleman's testimony that he's given. clear and that vient contradire les affirmations du témoin. Président
sur la question posée Con aux témoins to the, uh, confession obtained et through le torture. contenu Judge des aveux obtenus par proceed. la torture. Monsieur le juge Laverne, vous avez la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. En fait, ma yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, une demande de clarification I have just a request for clarification Carnavas, from uh, Council Carnavas. D'être mis en cause et because, of course, uh, being questioned uh, is something that's not that common. So I do not believe that it's useful uh, to just have uh, unclarified uh, allegations. Par la que, uh, the defense indicated le contenu, that uh, it had used the content uh, of that I had used the content of uh, confessions Donc, regarding Pong's arrest. Carnavas so I'd like to know if uh, Council Carnavas has specific uh, references to substantiate this. But as far as I remember, I don't remember referring to the content of a confession. I don't have it at this uh, moment. I can find it. It'll be in one second. I know exactly how it was used because I objected to that at some point. Fait, utilisé, it had to do with you're trying en fait, to assist the, uh, the witness as to the exact date when Pong entered Pong S21. S21. And you intervene Vous while the witness was being questioned to point out that based on the S21 records dire, quand vous of a sur confession, le dossier de S21, les aveux, Pong had Pong entered in 78. I, I will find, I will find the reference because I, sure, I can assure you that I'm not making any false uh, accusations for you. Uh, I have uh, it. In fact, uh, it's here someplace, je, je but I'll, I'll find it uh, je vais le very shortly. Maître Carnavas, j'aimerais savoir si vous faites référence au registre de S21 ou aux aveux. Parce que faire référence à des registres qui mentionnent des dates d'entrée et d'une chose, mais référence à des contenus d'aveux, en est une autre. Je pense qu'il serait tout à fait prudent de ne pas éviter Les deux a good idea to les avoid mixing up both sources. Des indications, lists can be used that contain, of course, indications such as entry dates as well as chose. execution dates. Le That's one thing. But the content of confessions Donc, is something else. So I would like to be sure that we're speaking about the same thing. On the one hand, you're speaking about confessions, and I believe that I was speaking about lists. But, but, uh, I'll look into it, I, and I could be that I was Canada, that I'm in error, that it was uh, because it was in reference to an S21, that you might have pointed out as to when the individual went in, as opposed to looking at the confession itself in the date, so I could be mistaken, but being, being that, uh, be that as it may, we insist that where the person giving the confession is merely Sur indicating how they arrived there dans leurs should be admitted, at least in this very narrow instance, where it contradicts accepté, the witness's testimony under ce, oath. Cette application très étroite, très and if the answer is that si it can't be used, une then fine, du témoin. then si we'll limit ourselves to only servir, the list, the numbers on the list, and nous, nothing more. Nous, so we need a clear answer as to what we can and cannot use, because it seems that whenever the defense wants to use something, it's forbidden. When the prosecution wants to use it, it's allowed. And that's the frustration that we tend to feel on this side, because here we are trying to confront the witness under oath with what we believe is evidence that demonstrates the quality of his testimony or the lack of la qualité de sa déposition ou l'absence de dite qualité. Hello, nom nom, thiệp, phải nhé, miễn phanh hà, ấy, tất đài, thế, thì hướng đi.
President. Le Président. The prosecution, I think you already expressed your objections, and uh, I believe there is no need for us to just uh, take the opportunity to be on the feed. To answer Judge Laverne's uh, question, we try to get it right. We're, we're not trying to make any false accusations here. Uh, this is on E1. Slash seventy point one. I have the English version. It's ER number zero zero eight zero six five two eight. The date is the date. Thirtieth of April, two thousand twelve. And it says here, Judge Laverne, line 15, thank you, Mr. President. I'm sorry for interrupting the flow of the questioning from Councillor Carnavas, but I would like to draw the party's attention to the fact that on the 24th of April last, the prosecution put before the chamber a document, IS 5.14. This document is submitted as being Pong's statement, confession rather, and as regards to the dates that are mentioned, it appears that the first date on which Pong's confession was reported is the 28th of May, uh, 1978. And the last date that is available on the document of which we do, uh, we do have the French and English translations is the 22nd of July, 1978. I think this is important because several times the witness said that Pong's arrest might have taken place in the days before the arrival of the Vietnamese in Phnom Penh, in other words, the end of 1978. So I do believe that there there is a contradiction, donc, and we do have some evidence that we can draw upon in elucidating this. Thank you. Qui nous de, so de that was, la question. Uh, and I apologize if, if I got it wrong, but this is what I have, uh, je, Judge Laverne, and uh, enfin, I mean no disrespect voilà by making reference je to this. Ne, non, je well, of course, we might agree on the fact that these are annotations indicating the dates of the confessions, but, however, can we consider that these annotations draw your, uh, refer to the content of the confessions? Well, I believe that there's a difference between an annotation that specifies the date when a prisoner was interrogated under torture and the content of uh, the confession. I think we're in total agreement on that. I don't disagree. And, uh, I was merely reading what's in the record and from the record, uh, Your Honor. Uh, I was using that as a basis for, for answering the, uh, the response. Now, it's up to you to rule. Est -ce que, est -ce, est -ce que nuance entre Counsel, le fait de dire que what is the distinction between a judge referring to the content of the confession or a reference to dates that are entirely different from the substance of a confession? Well, there is a difference, but from, from what I'm reading here, and perhaps I should have gone and checked to see exactly what was being referenced, but there's nothing in the text here that notes that it was a, uh, that this was in, in, in relation to an annotation. So obviously it's, it is my error to have assumed that you were actually looking into the document itself. But I'm reading what it says here, that you're pointing out a particular date, and it seems that we are using Confessions, whether it's, if we can only use annotations, then we should have a rule that only annotations provided by others than those who are providing the confession uh, can be admitted. I understand the nuance.
The president, in order to clarify things, and we still remember that from the very beginning of the trial proceedings, we are abided by the international convention against the use of confessions that extracted by means of torture contre la torture and the chamber has maintained its position firmly that it la chambre n'a jamais changé de position elle a estimé qu'il fallait respecter And cette convention these proceedings, the chamber concernant l'utilisation des déclarations faites sous la torture to the of of the la chambre n'a pas l'intention de laisser des parties faire référence au contenu torture. de déclarations faites sous la torture Because the content of the confessions uh, were somehow uh, the result of tortures. Car il s'agit d'aveux qui ont été and, passés uh, sous la torture. If parties wishes to refer to other annotations si or the dates on the confessions, parties are allowed to do so. À des dates, des aveux, cela est autorisé. Mr. President, I see we're past four o'clock. Je vois qu'il est 16 heures passées. Le président, indeed, it is now appropriate time for the adjournment. The chamber will adjourn. Le moment est venu de lever le pouce. Now and the next session will be resumed by tomorrow. Les débats reprendront demain matin à 9 heures. During tomorrow's sessions, the hearing will commence with uh, the questions Demain, to be posed by counsel for Mr. Yang Sari to the witness. La défense de Yang Sari Mr. poursuivra Rochampton, son interrogatoire de témoin. Mr. Rochampton's your testimony. Votre présence so please est come back uh, to the courtroom demain matin tomorrow. Dans le prétoire. Please. Uh, be here b before 9 a.m. Vous devrez être présent avant 9 Jury Council is also advised uh, to come uh, back to uh, the courtroom uh, at that same time. Court officer is now instructed to ensure Monsieur that witness is well accommodated uh, les and taken care of during the uh, adjournment. Uh, security personnel are now instructed to bring all the accused persons to the detention facility and have them return to the court by 9 a.m. au centre the court de détention et les ramener dans le prétoire demain pour 9 heures. L'audience est levée.